Greetings. Okay, so I've just pulled some cards because uh, there's a funny energy today around. Uh, I've got I've had a headache all day. Ian's had a headache all day. Um, he's always had really bad neck ache. I've had leg ache, and it's very it's unusual for you know for me to have a headache. Um, and for us both to feel a bit like. Ugh. So, I've just pulled six cards and then that one flew out as well. So, six of swords it implies a journey on water. I will look at the book in a minute. The full, so it's leaping into the Ace of Cups, which is abundance. We have reconciliation, so the bringing together of two opposites, hierarchy. So I'm going to have a look at these in a minute. And then we've got beginnings. So something is beginning. Okay. So just going to go and grab a book so we have beginnings what number is that number three <laughs> funny enough right the beginning okay so I can't bloody read that <laughs> worry not a new dawn is breaking let go of the old this is this card here let go of the old and embrace the new. Flow forward without heaviness or anxiety. New ways of being are calling to you. Speak up with a clear voice. Do not resist change. So that might be a bit of resistance going on there then. And that actually looks like a stargate, does it not? So this is portal energy. What's the date today? 14th. It's the 14th today. Hmm. I know we're heading into uh, full moon and also Ostara. That definitely looks like a stargate. So it's a portal. It's taking us into new beginnings in there. <clears throat> and that's reached through this reconciliation. So we've had this card before a couple of times, I think. So it's the bringing together of two opposites. Okay. It's the bringing together of two opposites. Can't save the blooming card. Um, the book. There is a difference between reconciling and continuing a relationship with who one whose energy is unforgiving. Reconciliation takes energy and willingness on both sides. Take time to heal. Forgive yourself. Find a place where we can meet and work together, even if we hold disparate views. Oh, right. So this would be, this would be around everything that's going on at the moment where people have been pitched against each other by the polarisation of a narrative. Or the polarising narrative that is going on out there at the moment. So maybe that's what we're picking up on. Hierarchy. Let's look at this one. Because my dinner is ready. <laughs> G H hierarchy. I don't think we've had this cup before. <clears throat> Seek equality in all your relationships, both intimate and professional. Our patriarchal Western society has not allowed women full freedom and rights how do you contribute to this power belongs to all not just the wealthy justice requires change Ooh, okay
Masculine and feminine result in two equal halves. The onset of one god religion, monotheistic, or that was a masculine in nature, created a new paradigm that was heralded by revised laws. Those laws did not bode well for those of the feminine sex, and especially for those who followed the goddess's path. <coughs> so it goes very well with this card. And these new beginnings will come with a reconciliation, the bringing together of the masculine and the feminine which then leads to a journey, a leap to abundance. So although we're feeling this on a personal level, this is a collective energy, clearly. Uh, right, let's just look at Six of Swords to get any more information. It's only going to be a quick one today. And apologies for not... <laughs> for. Uh, missing the Aquaria video. I might be able to do it later, I'm not sure. Um, just the way today's gone, really. Movement, improvements of any situation, safe passage, more than sympathy, but help from others. Moving away from an unhealthy situation, uh, lessening stress, yet destination unknown. Travel over water, new chapters, sometimes interpreted as a declaration of love, direction, a powerful card in aligning heart and mind, focus and follow through, yet unpredictable result. I like that card. And the fool, which is the leap, leap of faith. Do, 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 bear with me. Oh, funny. One, two, two. Just gone past it. Bear with me. Okay. <clears throat> the four. A beginning. <laughs> Embarking, establishing a path, a leap of faith, venturing off one's off on one's own. New possibilities, optimism. So, yeah. And then the Ace of Cups. Everyone knows what the Ace of Cups is. It's just magnificent, overflowing abundance of everything. Abundance isn't just about money, it's about everything. And then we have this card here, which jumped out at me. So this is kind of what we're feeling, this new beginning, which is a reconciliation of both sides, equality in everything, and that not in a woke, bloody way, yeah, which then leads to, so th these are the energies that we're feeling, this this. <clears throat> very strange this new beginning if you're feeling this today that's what it is the bringing together of two and it's not easy it's not easy to even the shadow bring integrating the shadow it's not easy it's simple but it's not easy so these cards here all brilliant cards very optimistic cards and we're heading towards magnificent abundance and then this card here just quickly. Find it. This card. <laughs> Keep wandering off. Bear with me. I'm doing this one handed. Oh, what's it gone? Let's go that way. There we go. <clears throat> let go allow the wildness back into your life the ability to feel freely embrace our pleasure is part of being human travel deeper through joy into profound mindfulness ecstasy helps to connect with the divine so feel your joy feel your absolute utmost joy so that's how we transmute this energy get your joy on everyone well, hey, right. 
So that's what we're feeling. New beginnings. Bringing together of everything to create this across the board equality journey of optimism leap of faith and there's a knowingness there yeah when you've done this work there's a knowingness in these cards which then brings you to this absolute place of abundance and we do that through tapping your absolute joy so enjoy the rest of this day evening wherever you are in the world um, yeah so if you're feeling this today that's what it is stay fearless